Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So guys, do you have any idea on what sword I am talking about? So before we start guys, every time you use my star code in purchasing Robux, 5% of the earnings will go to me and that will help me make better videos. Thank you and appreciate you all. Where the actor slam on the dancing forward, that's your slam, that's the dump. Okay guys, so before we start, do you know this dude? This dude is NL in One Piece. In Black Fruits, he is the Thunder God. So you can see him in the Skylands in the upper yard. If you take a look closer, he has a weapon. And aside from that, he is a fruit user. And basing on his skills, he is using the Rumble Fruit. Defeating the Thunder God will give you a chance to get his legendary sword for 6% in the pole. Wait, Gamer Nom, so is that the sword needed to fully awaken the Dough Fruit? No, guys. But why are you talking about the pole gamer knob? Guys, I'm trying to make a point here. I know some of you will tell you can still awaken the rumble fruit even without the pole, etc. But guys, can you say that you've fully awakened the rumble fruit without the pole? The awakened V2 pole? I guess no. So I think unlocking pole V2 to fully awaken the rumble fruit is essential to say that you've fully awakened it, right? Before we continue, shout out to Febby999 for believing that I am Gamer Nom. <laughs> okay guys, so moving on. Back to the Rumble Fruit. So guys, if you're gonna awaken the Rumble Fruit, it has 5 skills. You need a total of 14,500,000 fragments in order to awaken all the skills. I am telling you this in order for you to prepare. So most likely, you will need this amount. Here comes the good part. After awakening all the skills, if you again you enter the raid and finish it you will be able to enter a new area okay so let's see after finishing the v skill there you go again let's finish another raid and after that you'll be teleported in a new area and in that area you will see the thunder god it is obviously different from the npc that will awaken your skills so if you talk to him there you go guys there's a requirement i think you need 300 mastery right yeah, 300 mastery in order for you to awaken your pole and additional 5,000. So as you can see, pole second form. Now you can say that you fully awakened the rumble fruit, right? So gamer nom, what is the connection of this with the dough fruit? Okay, so if you don't know, the user of the dough fruit is Katakuri in One Piece. Uh, spoiler alert, Luffy also fought this one. So let's compare him with NL. Both of them has weapons, right? Check this out. NL with the pole and Katakuri with the spiky trident. So gamer nom, how do you get the spiky trident? Guys, 5% chance and there is a requirement. You need to defeat 500 mobs on the final island in the third sea. Again, 500 mobs and after that, you need to go here in this NPC drip underscore mama. To make things faster, you can ask your friends to defeat mobs at the same time, that's okay. That will accumulate or go in a public server. There you go. So again, after defeating 500 mobs, a dimension will spawn and you will have 7 minutes to defeat the boss. Oh, here it is. The Cake Prince and he has a weapon. So that again, that is our target. We need to unlock that. Also a post from the developer of the game. There you go. As you can see, Cake Prince true form. And also, the Awakening. So I want you to focus on that. Quick question, Gamer Nom, is it possible to defeat him 1v1? I think yes, if you're using Buddha Fruit. But to make things easier, make sure to bring a friend. So after, I think I've tried for like 9 times, including the previous ones, I was able to unlock the Spiky Trident. And for the requirement to fully awaken the Dough Fruit, with this is Mastery 300, I think, for the Spiky Trident. So a faster way to do it is uh, equipping a Buddha Fruit. And just using M1. So you can start here in this area. As you can see, with just uh, what do you call this? One set of cookie crafters with two times, you will gain 100 masteries. So you can defeat the mobs near him. There you go. So what I did is I stayed here until I reach, I think, mastery 200. Yes, mastery 200. So just, just keep on defeating those mobs, but you're goal here is to reach mastery 200 or just 150 in order for us to unlock the first skill at master 150 the though you regain so is it a multi-target 
No guys, check this out. Boom. <laughs> so I tried attacking a single target. There you go, it worked. And to conclude, my theory that is a single target, I lured two enemies and there you go. Okay? So after that, I decided to go in a different area, which is faster, I think, if you're lucky. So I went to the floating turtle and decided to hunt bosses. But before that, uh, I changed my race into Mink so that I can run faster as well as uh, change my equipment. Yes. Our goal here is to run or move faster. So if you have the pilot helmet, that will do, but I don't have it. So the cape, the black cape will do. So I started defeating Longma, guys. If you're lucky enough, you can defeat Longma, uh, change servers, defeat Longma, and that will be the fastest way to do it. Given that you have the two times mastery, there you go. Just use your left clicks. I don't suggest using your Z skill while on while on uh, Buddha transformation. There you go. I got like more than ten mastery. Your other option is the beautiful pirate, but this one is harder and will give you less mastery, but will give you lots of uh, what do you call this money. If you have two times money, you will get one hundred thousand bellies, and that's a lot. By the way, for those who don't know or haven't fought the beautiful pirate, it has two, eight, two lives. So check this out. There you go. Once uh, he transforms, I don't know why the name is beautiful pirate. <laughs> Once he transforms, he will be more faster. And that's it. Don't worry, guys. Just use your Q, dodge, left clicks, Q, dodge, left clicks. And that's enough to defeat him. Next boss is the elephant. There you go, Captain Elephant. So is it easy to defeat? Yes, he's the easiest and he will give you the least mastery. Okay, so game or not, for 100 masteries, it took me 3 sets. So 3 long mass, 3 uh, what do you call this, beautiful pirate and 3 captain elephant. And I was able to grind one, more than 100 mastery and that is enough for me to unlock the final skill. And that is the final trident. Pool. Side question gamer nom is it worth it to unlock this skill? Okay, let's check it out. We're gonna showcase it with the Captain Elephant. So this is the X skill. There you go. Do you see that? You're gonna pull it near you, your enemy, and your enemy will be open to combos. So I think if you're gonna use it for combos, it's really good. The Z skill of the Spiky Trident is also good for mobility. There you go, it will launch forward. So guys, it really depends to you. So gamer nom, are you sure? that you need this sword in order to fully awaken the doe fruit basing on the rumble fruit right it makes sense so guys i hope that this theory will come true and i hope that you enjoyed this video again to all the viewers subscribers supporters i really appreciate you all this is gamer nom and gamer nom out